Mike Bradley, I hope you're doing well as always. Now, I want to show you a cool little lick by the lovely Mr. Jimi Hendrix. Um, he's actually coming up to the anniversary of his death as well. Is it the 18th of September? I think he died, or 17th of September? I always seem to forget. Whenever I go back and listen to some Hendrix stuff, there's always something new I pick up. I'm like, oh, I've never heard that before, you know? And this little idea is in um, Red House of his debut album, Are You Experienced? And it's a cool little, you know, standard, almost Chuck Berry idea at the beginning. And then he kind of goes over the changes for the five chord. And it's like, oh, it's so cool, you know? And, you know, yeah, when you think of Jimmy and you see a lot of the live stuff and he's, you know, he's out of tune, um, he's out of it <laughs> physically sometimes, you know? Um, yeah, he's kind of, you know, it can be, not to say sloppy, but yeah, now the guitar's out of tune for all the way bar abuse and whatnot. But there's no denying it, he was constantly practicing and looking for new ideas, you know what I mean? And like, you hear him in you know, the last year or so of his life, you know, the Woodstock stuff, and he's kind of, you know, incorporating, you know, modal playing, he's got a lot of modal playing and, and kind of Phrygian dominant scales coming out there, you know, and the West Montgomery influence with um, those kind of octave playing and whatnot, you know. So he, yeah, you know, when people say he's ahead of his time, he really was, you know, but anyway, but I thought, um, I haven't done a lesson on here for a while, um, so I thought I'll show you this cool little idea, um, which is completely 100% taken from Jimi Hendrix. Um, apart from the end bit, I usually just add my own thing to it. But uh, but yeah, and just so you know, gear wise, using my strap, I've got um, you can kind of just see it off camera here the Hampstead RT20, which a review will be coming of this. And for gain, I'm using my old Boss SD1 here. So um, yeah, I'll go in for a bit of a close up and see this list. Right, hello guys, and he welcome to my hands. Um, I'm gonna do it all clean at the moment, just the amp, just so you can hear the nose a bit cleaner. So I'm doing this in the key of B flat. Uh, Jimmy, you no, know, predominantly always tuned down to E flat, um, and I think you no know, live stuff is is kind of B B flat E kind of thing, you know. So um, I thought let's do it in B flat. But it's a uh, good practice as well because not everything is in the key of A and E all the time. Hello, now you can see me. Here we go. Right. So um, what I did there when you saw at the beginning of the video, so. That's the Chuck Berry idea I'm kind of talking about. So, um, there's shape one for you. So we're on, uh, what's that, eighth fret there. Bending it up a tone. And then we've got six, six on the second and first strings. And then go straight to that ninth fret and with pure conviction and confidence, bend up that second string a tone. You know, and with distortion, um, sorry, this pedal's so old. I really give it some oomph, all right? And then we're gonna bend up the ninth fret, second string again, and then go to the sixth fret on the first string and hammer onto the ninth fret on the first string, and then pull off back to the six, and then roll up to the six on the second string. Now you can do this as many times as you want. I think Jimmy did it four, I, I'm doing it four. So slowly now we've got. And then when you finish that, you got the, ah, oh, just the sweetest thing in the world. So we're on the ninth fret, slide to the 10th fret, and think shape five is. Um, we're gonna go 10, 8, 8, 10, 8 on the second string on first, well, first and second string. And then 10, 9, 8 on the third string. And basically what he's doing there, he's playing in the key of F major pentatonic. So you can't see my face, hi. He's playing in the key of F major pentatonic there. So he, oh, that's the five chord for B flat. So he's, like I say, changing over the changes. That's what he's doing there, I always, 
you can throw that in if you want. You kind of finish it, uh, so that's six to uh, seven on the third string, and eight on the fourth string, which is the B flat again. You see what I mean? It's, a, oh, it's just great. I love it. It's so cool and um, it's, it's a cool thing to nick, you know, and then take it and make it your own, you know. So if regular viewers who see me, I'm not really a lick player, um, but it is good to kind of take ideas from your favourite players and then make them your own, you know, abuse them, <laughs> turn them inside out and make them your own, you know. Um, and it will make you a better player. So um, yeah, get your Jimmy. Come on, SD1, work for me. You can, oh, you can do it in any key, by the way. So that's B flat if you're in C. You know, that'd be in C minor pentatonic, right? So um, yeah. There's my little tip of the hat to Jimmy. Um, come up to, when did he die? So I was like, ah, ah, 46 years ago. Bloody hell, yeah. And we just had the anniversary of Stevie Ray. He was 26 years ago he died, yeah. So, <sighs> the great ones. And Gene Wilder died yesterday. Well, for me anyway, I, whenever I put this up. But um, oh, if Gene Wilder's not really known as a guitar slinger, but, uh, it's still sad. Anyway, I'm going off topic, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please let me know in the comment section how you got on with it, and um, please like the video and subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. So, uh, hope really well. That's if you haven't subscribed already. Of course you have. You're watching this. Of course you have. And you're going in out on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> hope you're really, really well, and uh, love you all. Take care. Mike Bradley signing out. <laughs>